What's up, y'all? Michael here, Shot City Yacker, and it is so windy. I can't get on to Lake Michigan uh, because those waves are all kicked up, and it's just it's not worth it out of a kayak right now. So I didn't want to waste the beautiful day here, so I decided to make a video. And in this video, I want to share with you a lure that absolutely killed it for me this spring for the spring coho run, casting for coho salmon, not trolling as you normally see some of these videos. Uh, I didn't get a lot of film on doing this this spring, but it absolutely blew it out of the water for me. In fact, it's really something I just kind of stumbled on out of my gear. This lure here gave me a consistent bite with these coho salmon that were really sitting up in 10 feet or less of water, which means they were high up in the water column. And so I took advantage of that, knowing that they were high in the water, knowing that they would uh, chase and be aggressive. I was like, yo, let me try this lure. And what is that lure? Right here. This is a Rapala Rip and Wrap, size six. Now, I use this color. I threw the Fire Tiger. It uh, really didn't matter the color, it seemed like. Uh, it, it really was about the profile of the bait and those rattles. And the fact that I could cast it out and retrieve it in kind of fast, up high in the water column, these fish are coming up from underneath and crushing it. And I really, really wish that on the days where I was actually casting for coho up along break walls, uh, where I would mark pods of fish, I really wish I had that video to show you just how insane it was. Uh, it was a day where we limited out, another day we limited out. So this really worked, and, and I really stumbled on this. I mean, this is essentially a lure that is is uh, kind of tied into walleye fishing. Uh, if you're a walleye fisherman, you're familiar with rip and wrap. Uh, it's a great bait for them. And something about me going through my tackle, and I was like, I want to cast for them. Uh, I didn't really want to throw flicker shads because uh, I didn't have a spinning rod rigged up. And, you know, the weight of those, they're not all that heavy. So I couldn't get a long cast. And I think a key with using this bait is with, is with the weight on it, I was able to get a long cast out there, cover more water, and just reel it in. And a few cranks of the rod, and before you know it, you felt the hardest crack that tug was the drug let me tell you i want to share with you this lure again the rapala rip and wrap side six was a smoking hot bait for me for coho now the the real testament to this is going to be how well this does throughout the rest of the year is this going to work for me in the summertime uh or is it mainly going to be something that will work in the early spring uh when you get the spring coho run uh, when they are higher in the water column because the water is cooler, summertime comes around here, uh, surface temps get higher, those fish get lower in the water. So this may be, uh, this may not work at all. It may work, I'll find out. But as far as spring coho bite, this Rapala Rip and Wrap, size six. And again, I, I don't really know if the colors really matter because I got bit on uh, both colors here. And because of that, I've ordered a couple more in different colors. They've got some UV color ones that uh, are coming in as well. And a green tiger and like a pink tiger color uh, UV. So I'll have that to the inventory. But this works surprisingly well. And another lure most uh, salmon fishermen know about is the Brad's Thin Fish. And I'll, sh I'll show you that in another video. Again, I could have used those. Those sit up higher in the water column. But because of the lack of weight, uh, in those it would have been a lot harder for me to cover as much water as I did with the rip and wraps because of the weight I was able to chuck it out there Crank it in very retrieve at some points. I would kind of yo-yo back and uh, it, it seemed at least in this spring that they wanted a straight retrieve Fast retrieve to chase after it and uh, they smacked it up I, I don't even know if I can give you a close-up zoom in of the bite marks just from one day of fishing with this lure in particular. Just wanna share that with you, something for you to try out, add it to your inventory. If you're looking to cast for coho salmon in the spring, it's a blast. Hopefully this uh, video helps out, all right? Thank y'all for watching, and if you've tried this before, or if you do try it, please let me know in the comments below uh, how it worked out for you. All right, y'all, thanks for watching, peace.